So in this part of the video now, we're going to actually have a look at doing the valley itself. Um, and you can see from the previous video, I just finished off doing those connections by there and checking the lengths of those purlins. So what I'm going to start off by doing is the lower lining of the valley. So I'm going to set up work plane by picking one and I want the end of this channel to be our work plane and what I'm going to do then is go to the viewer and just zoom in on that when I can see where it is There we go. All right. Okay. So from here, um, I want to now go to component model in place. Just going to do a quick generic model for this valley. Click OK and call it valley base, say OK, and I'm going to use this outline by here that I've got to actually create that shape, so extrusion, it's just throwing me back out over here, so let's zoom in again, all right, now we need it to shape around this area, So I'll start off by there, I'll come up, say 150, oh yeah, I've got to do it manually, zoom in a bit, make it a bit, there we go, 150, doesn't need to be that thick, say 3 mil. And then we'll use the offset command and set it at three and get those done and then just trim them. Like that. Okay, um, we've got, I'll change that probably to like an aluminium or something. Okay, extrusion start at zero, end is going to have to be quite long, so I'll do it at 6,000 for now, and then I'll just adjust it afterwards. Okay, let's have a little look what that looks like. And we'll finish the model, and I can close the viewer. Ah, it's gone the wrong way. All right then, so let's... change that so we could edit in place um, there we go and instead of being 6,000 we'll do well, it looks very long to be honest so we'll go for minus 9,000 uh, it's going to need to be longer obviously this end needs to be a bit bigger as well so we'll do this as 500, see what that looks like, a little bit more. Okay, this end here, let's make it 12, and then I'll just zoom in, and we can see we're getting there now, and that's going to be about right by there. Okay, 
So that gives us the lining or the base of our valley. OK. And next, I want to actually add the roof. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a roof by footprint for these areas. So let's open up my floor plan. And what I'll do is I'll utilize, um, let's go to the roof plan actually, that's probably a better. There we go. So let's do architecture, roof by footprint, uh, basic roof cladding, that's fine. And we're going to pick lines. So I'll pick that one and then get rid of the defines slope. So let's trim this lot together. Okay, and um, we've got our level at roof. I'll tick that. Now we'll have to edit the actual up oh, closed loop. Forgot to trim those two together. Let's do that first. Try that now. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Now, as we can see, the pitch is way off there. So what I'm just going to do is jump across to the other section that I did there. And this is a, and we can see we've got that arrow there where we can actually just adjust it like so. And we can use that to our advantage quite quickly. As we can see, we're very close there. Let's just tweak it up a tiny bit more. And now it's sitting on there. OK, so that gives us that side. All right. And oh, this side here is needs to be raised up a bit, though. So about the 230, the base offset, 230. And then I'll have to just drop that other end down again. There we go. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, so we can do that. Um, would have been probably good if I'd worked out the actual slope of the roof itself. It looks like it's about 10 degrees. OK. Next, let's do the same on this side. So we'll jump back to our roof. We'll do another roof by footprint. Pick the lines. Pick the side of the valley there. Pick the ridge along there and pick that one. Now, the problem we've got here, actually, is that the slope we want to run this way and Therefore, what I'm going to do is a little trick. Just draw this line by here for a minute. And then go across and just tidy that up. OK, so I'm going to do the roof on this footprint with this overhang here, which then we'll get rid of afterwards. And I want to make that side the defining slope. There we go. And I can change that to about 10 degrees, roughly. And let's have a look at that in 3D. And I've forgotten to give it a little uplift of 230. And it's a bit less than 10 degrees. So I'll just drag this down here now. Nine point five, we'll go for that. 
and that one there we'll do up to 9.5 as well just make them the same okay so obviously we don't want that big overhang but what we can quite easily do now is edit the footprint and if we click on this and just change that to a small number it'll then keep that area that we want Oop, that might have overdone it yep we'll continue there just undo that so what's going on there ah right like, there we go that was the problem should have checked where that was measuring to first make sure i had it in the right place there that's where i want it to be measuring to so that i know how long that is change that to five and now it should work there we go okay so that's the actual roof on there so what we want now though is just a little flashing around the actual valley itself to just take that down into there on the sides so what we're going to do is we've still got our work plane set on this so we will just create a, another one of the extrusions so component model in place general generic okay and this is going to be a valley side one i could probably get both values done in one hit actually both sides and we'll just zoom in here so we've still got our profile there and we can see the roof profile as well all right so what we're going to do now is do the extrusion oh, yes. zoom in and we'll pick lines so we'll pick that one and that one we'll pick the sides of those And then we could just take it around here as well. And we'll offset by three, that's fine. just need to uh, get this coming up here so what I'll do actually is just use this to get myself a distance we'll go about a it's quite shallow so I'll do it say about 600 diameter there so that'll give me the end of the overlap and I can delete that one and trim those off there redraw that one and let's give those closed loops at the bottom and I'll just repeat that on this side
There we go. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, we can see I'd need to just tweak that a little bit um, so to get those ends done if you had um, a roof that was coming around the side it wouldn't matter so much but you could just create a separate little model for those areas um, perhaps a, another extrusion without the one side or some sort of hopper on the end but that gives the, the general idea anyway. And likewise at the top, we'd have some sort of ridge flashing coming across that lot there. And we might have some sort of end piece under there as well. But got the general idea. So there is our roof valley from a steel frame building. So I do hope you've enjoyed this little set of videos. Um, and please do subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you.